Hi creators, today I'm going to cover changing audio speed in DaVinci Resolve 15, so let's get started right away. DaVinci Resolve does a nice job of allowing the editor to change the speed of audio clips. Not only can we change the speed of the audio, but we can automatically correct the pitch of the audio as the changes are made. I'll show you this trick and more right now. I have a video clip in my timeline and it has audio associated with it. And I want to make sure, first of all, that let's select this timeline view options. And we're going to make sure that the wave is, is on, so it's white. And we want to make sure that we have this larger uh, video track and audio track size adjusted up a little bit so we can see what we're working with. Okay, so it's basically just a kind of like a point of view of a water slide. And so I can see that this video has a whole bunch of spikes in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is normalize this audio. So right click on the clip when you have it selected. And then I want to go down to minus 3 dB, hit normalize, and that's going to take these spikes down away from clipping at the top. And so next thing I want to do is I want to break this video up into several different clips. And so let's start it right about here. I'm going to select the razor tool and make sure that this magnet is selected so we can get our cuts in the same spot. So let's cut it there and the corresponding audio. And I'm going to go down to about this spot here. I'll make a second set of cuts. And then I want to go down here right at the splash zone here. And I'm going to make another set of cuts. And so what I want to do is change the speed of this video and the corresponding audio. So first of all, let's zoom out a little bit. And I want to select the first video clip. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to hit retime controls. The easy way to do that actually is hit control R. And then the pull down here, it's showing 100%. I'm going to change that speed to 150%. I'll close the retime control box. And then so our video clip changed to 150%. You can see that but our audio clip stayed the same, okay? So you can hear that audio, it's splashing, but we lose our video. So I'm gonna right click on that audio after selecting it, and I'm gonna hit change clip speed. Up here in the speed, it's automatically selected so we can type in 150. Let's take a listen to that. I'm gonna go back to that, I just selected it without changing anything else. Okay, so Let's open that back up again. And so I have pitch correction selected as well. And I have maintained timing set. So I'll cancel that. So now I want to drag that clip back to even with the video clip. And so those match up. So now we are in sync again. So it's kind of hard to tell on faster video. So now let's do an experiment on slowing things down. And I'm going to separate these pieces so I can stretch this out. Again, I'm going to hit Control R. I'm going to select my 10%. Okay, so we stretched that out quite a bit. So let's take a look at that. So we have no sync now between our audio and our video. So again, I want to select that audio clip, right click on it, and change clip speed change, change clip speed, and I'm going to type in 10% for this one. So now I have to stretch this out to match up with the video. And now let's take a listen to that. So we're going down. When we go down, DaVinci has a kind of a weird thing here. When we try to do, let me open that change clip speed again. When we do pitch correction on slowing things down, it gets a little bit crazy, so unselect that and hit change. Now let's play that again. Now we are going to get a, basically a lowering of our pitch because we're slowing this down, but we still have things in sync. So as you can see, as we approach these little bumps here, 
I'm still going to get the timing set with these little hits of these items here. That's a pretty awesome way to do that. And so now we can just grab these clips and move them back in place. I want to show you a couple of additional features. I'll close the retiming controls. I'm going to select the audio clip again, right click, hit change clip speed. And we can do some really cool things. We can actually reverse speed. So let's try that. We'll audition that clip. So obviously the timing of the clip does not match up, but for different effects, we might want to change the, the actual timing of the actual audio. So that gives us an option to do that. And you can see how jerky this, this actual video is with this slow motion. And so let's make some changes on that as well. So I'm going to go over here, make sure the inspector is open. Go down to retime and scaling. And so in the retime process, we just have it set on project settings. And so I'm going to make a change here. I'm going to change it to optical flow. Actually, I'm going to start with a frame blend. And then under the project filter, I'm going to set this as smoother. And so let's see the difference here. So now we get kind of a, a little bit of a warping effect. We still have a little bit of jerkiness, especially on the edges but it just gives us a completely different look. It's, it's, you know, it's obviously not a great slow-mo, it's just an effect. So we can even further enhance that, that look by changing this to a, let's go back to a, a bind linear, and I wanna go to actually the frame blend, I wanna change it to an optical flow. Let's try this. And so we really get a dreamy type video now. And let me go back and change this audio. Revise it to the actual timing. So this gives us really kind of a unique type of video. It's really just an effect uh, that basically DaVinci Resolve is interpolating the in-between frames when I use that optical flow it's kind of a neat effect but it really is wavy it's very dreamy looking so it's it's not a realistic look but along with the actual audio changes that we can make in the clip speed it really creates a really nice effect and so I can change this to anything I want here if I want to change this to 5%. I'm going to stretch that out a little bit. And let me change that to an optical flow. I'm going to change this one to a smoother. I'm going to select the audio clip again here at the bottom. Change that to 5%. Turn off the pitch correction. And then I'll stretch this out to match. Obviously, we have a lot more data beyond that point. And so we can really slow things down here. Gives it a very different look. Not very realistic, but kind of a stylized look. Very dreamy-like. So DaVinci has some really cool options for slowing down footage, slowing down the audio to match the video. Obviously, Resolve has a lot of options to change video speeds. If you want to take a look, I have another video out there on retiming controls and showing a lot of different effects that we can do with that. I'll provide a link in the video description, so please take a look at that. Hey, and please subscribe to the channel just to say thanks. It'll really help out my channel. And add any comments that you want, any questions. I'll try to get those answered. Thanks a lot for watching again today. Take care, guys.